I can't believe that this hasn't existed until now. With all of the new coding AI agents and tools and stuff like that, there hasn't been one that's really good and works directly in the browser. I mean, that's where your website lives. Why wouldn't it live there? Until now, React Grab for agents is something that has been deployed by the React Grab AMI million dev team. And it basically allows you to submit prompts to the AI coding agents you already use. Think Claude Code, Cursor, or Copilot. And it just works in the browser. Now, if you're not familiar with what React Grab is, that's okay. It's relatively new, but it is probably the greatest thing to happen in the JS ecosystem ever since React itself. So how it works is you add a single script to your Next.js or any other project, and it allows you to make fine-tuned, precise edits on your website. So for example, I'm on inbox.run right here, and I don't like how thick these little message bubbles are. They're, they're too thick. We need to make it slim, minimal, you know? So normally I would just tab on over to cursor and be like, please make the message bubbles thinner, remove padding on top or bottom or yada, yada, yada. And it might not know where or what those message bubbles are referring to, especially in larger projects. But with React Grab, I can just press Command C is what I'm pressing on the keyboard, and I can select the element. And this isn't just like a screenshot or something like that. This is the pure React element. So if I go into cursor and I paste that, it shows the React context. So that way cursor knows exactly what I'm referring to when I select it. So I can then say, make these thinner, less padding. And then I can just let it generate and it will do it with 10 times better context. It works amazing in bigger projects. Like for example, my primary side project inbound, I am able to excel at the speed of light when working with inbound with react grab, because I can just go in to the, uh, like the dashboard, as you can see right here, the dashboard is pretty complex. There's lots of different pages and tabs and everything like that. And it's a little bit hard to kind of narrow down be like on the API key and the app sidebar, this, that, the other. No, just command C and you can select the element and it just works. So then if we go tab back over to cursor, we can see now that it's a little bit thinner and it looks more balanced. Perfect. But that took too many steps. And when you're in flow state, which I am often a lot, so now you can do that exactly in the browser. So for example, we're gonna do this. We're going to say, add a little tail on the, the side of this so that way it looks like a message bubble. So we're gonna do the same command C and we're gonna select this email thread, but instead of clicking, which would select the React context, we're gonna press enter. Now that we selected enter, we're gonna say, add a little tail to this on the bottom left side. So it properly shows the message bubble, if I could type. And then we're gonna press enter. Now watch, it's going to start a remote Claude Code instance using the Claude Code SDK and actively edit this in the browser. Right now, I don't even have to switch to a code editor or anything like that. So that way, if you're on a call with a client or if you're uh, working with somebody on making it work properly or something like that, you can just make all those edits directly in the browser. That's an AI error. I'm not even gonna put that on this. But it allows you to use your existing code agents and stuff like that directly in the browser. So let's see if that fixes it. So yeah, it's pretty incredible. And I think that this is going to be super, super helpful. So now that you have a little bit more context about what React Grab and React Grab for agents is, let's go through the blog post. So TLDR, React Grab used to stop at just copying the context for your coding agent, but now it can directly talk to your agent and edit the code off in the browser like we just saw. You can now spin up multiple agents like Claude Code and Cursor directly on the page, and you can run multiple UI tasks at once. This is crazy good. That means that if you have multiple buttons or different popovers and toolbars and stuff like that, they can all run in parallel, allowing you to just focus on making the changes and proving that iterative feedback loop better and better and better. And obviously you can do it without leaving the browser. React Grab came from a very simple but relevant annoyance. 
Coding agents are good at generating code, but bad at guessing what I actually want. The loop would look like this. I would look at some UI, form a mental picture, and then try to describe it in English. I do the exact same thing, except describing it in English. I close my eyes, open Super Whisper, and just basically try to dictate out what it is. The agent would guess what files to open, grep around, and then maybe land on the right component. But as the code base grew, like I said, the guess where this is step became the bottleneck. Then he built the first version of React Grab. You press and hold Command C to select an element, and then React Grab gives you the component stack with the exact file paths and line numbers. Now, instead of guessing where an element might live, the agent jumps to the exact file, line, and column. It just improves that iterative feedback loop over and over again. On the benchmarks he ran for our Shadzian dashboard, it made Claude code roughly 66% faster on an average set of UI tasks. The agent did fewer tool calls, fewer file reads, and it got the edit sooner because it no longer had to search. This is actually really helpful because it can also help preserve your context. If you are working and the agent really doesn't know where to look and you're grepping around and the agent's grepping around and doing all these tool calls, it can eat into your context allowance. I talked about this at Next.js Conf, where if you aren't smart with your token and context usage, you will just go into this loop of having to explain everything to the agent over and over again, because it's eating up all of its context to work on different things. That's why you need to keep your context small and your usage small, so that way you don't run into stuff like this. We can do better. React Grab solved the context problem and ignored basically everything else. This is actually intentional. You still had to copy, switch to your agent, paste, wait, switch back, and refresh. For one-off tasks, this was fine. After using it daily, I realized that we can do a lot better. I agree. The browser had become the best view of intent. The, the agent had the power to edit the code. Why not put the agent in the browser? He says Theo predicted this months ago. Let's look at that. I really want someone to build this. Claude code is the wrong direction. I want a local solution that's above the editor, not below. Yeah, I agree. The, the reason of having this functionality in the browser is incredibly important because this is where you are and you're living and you're editing everything. So why wouldn't you wanna make edits directly from this? So it makes sense. React Grab for agents is what happens when you let the browser do more of the loop. The idea is simple. You hold the command C, click an element, and a small label appears showing what the component name and tag. Press enter to expand the prompt input, type what you want to change, press enter again, and the agent starts working. React Grab sends all the relevant context with the prompt to the agent, and the agent edits your file directly while the label streams back status updates. You never leave the browser, you never touch the clipboard. This is amazing. I love this idea. Then obviously we go into some setup stuff. It's super easy to set up and it's free. Two, it doesn't require any paid plan. So if you aren't using this, you need to start using this. You just add an MPX at React Grab forward slash your agent at um, latest to your next dev script. And then you add some of the scripts for the package management. And then it basically just works. So like what you saw in inbox.run, that's all I had to do for it to get up and running. How it works. Under the hood, React Grab for Agents is built on the same mechanics as the original library. When you select an element, React Grab walks the React Fiber tree upwards to the element, collects the component display names, and in development, the source locations with the file paths and line and column numbers, and then captures a small slice of DOM attributes around the node. This is the context that made the original benchmarks so much better. The agent gets a direct pointer instead of a fuzzy description. The new part is the agent provider. An agent provider is a small adapter that connects React Grab to a coding agent. When you submit a prompt, React Grab, like we said before, grabs the context and the, your message and then sends it to the local server. And that server passes this to the actual CLI, whether that be Claude or Cursor Agent, which means that you can use your existing subscriptions. Like if you are a diehard Claude code user, you can already just use Claude code and using the SDK. And you don't have to worry about it um, signing up for a new subscription because we all hate subscriptions. So I am super in, impressed that you don't even have to have a, a separate subscription to sign up for this. Hell, I would pay like five or 10 bucks a month just to get access to this because of how good it is. Providers are open source. You can read through the implementation or use them as a starting point for your own. What's next? React Grab for Agents is a tool agnostic on purpose. It integrates with the agents that exist. If your tool has a CLI or API, you can add a provider. However, I do not think the long-term story is just to wire up what you already have. There is a missing piece, a coding agent designed specifically for UI work. Built around the way React Grab 
represents contacts. Soon we'll be releasing AMI. That is very cool. I've had private access to AMI for about two months now. And from what I can say, it is very, very cool. And I'm excited for it. So I will be making a video on that. So make sure to stay tuned. The idea is that React Grab kind of handles everything. And then AMI handles the agent side, planning, editing, and understanding component hierarchies and design systems. The contract is narrow. React Grab says, here's exactly what the user clicked and what they asked for. AMI replies with, here's the minimal patch that makes this true in a style that you will recognize. This is super important because you want these edits to be minimal, clean, and concise. That's what I put on all of my edits to be like, hey, just make this work in the most minimal way possible. So yeah, that is React Grab for agents. I think that this is going to be really crazy on how people are going to be using this. I've already started using it. I've had it for about a day of access and I have just been able to ship so many things with inbox.run and inbound.new. Um, and I think it's gonna be super, super helpful for the React ecosystem. So yeah, try it out today. I'll post all the links in the description. And while you're down there, make sure to click subscribe for all of the best tech coverage and news. But until then, I will see you later. Peace.